Next poem is called Welcoming the Flowers. I'm standing on the corner of Stanton and Christie, waiting for the traffic light to change. A man is sitting on the steps of a building holding his young son on his lap. He is eating fried chicken from Chico's take out on Houston. He chews on the wings and feeds bits of the breast to his son. The man finishes eating, puts the leftover chicken, bones, fries, and soda can in a paper bag and leaves it on the sidewalk. A brown dog from the neighboring building snoops around, gets its nose in the bag, chews on the bones and makes a mess. The man hits the news dog with a newspaper and it yelps and runs away. A black cat sitting in a window watches wide-eyed, staring down at the dog, chicken bones, and grizzle. I see their past and present lives. The man eats the chicken, and the chicken was his mother, who had died two years ago of cancer. The dog chewing on the bones was his father, who had died five years ago of a heart attack. And the cat in the window was his grandmother, and his young son, whom he holds so tenderly, was the man who killed him in his previous life. His wife comes home with the groceries and takes the boy into the building. She had been his lover in many past lives and was his mother for the first time in this one. <laughs> the world just makes me laugh. Fill what is empty, empty what is full, light as body, light as breath, welcoming the flowers, daffodils baptized in butter, lilacs luxuriously licking the air, necklaces of wisteria bowing to magnolia mamas, the cherry blossoms are razor blades, the snow dahlias sharp as cat piss. The lilies of the valley are lilies of fur, lilies of feather, lilies of fin, lilies of skin. The almost Miss America rose. They all smell so good, and I get sucked into their meaty, earthy goodness. You make my heart feel warm. I lay my head on your chest and feel free. Filling what is empty, emptying what is full, filling what is empty, emptying what is full, filling what is empty, emptying what is full. The gods we know we are, the gods we know we were. I smell you with my eyes and see you with my ears and feel you with my lips and taste you with my nose and hear you with my tongue. I want you to sit in my heart and smile. Words come from sound. Sound comes from wisdom and wisdom comes from emptiness. Deep relaxation in great perfection. Welcoming the flowers. Armfuls of honeysuckle and columbine, red-tipped knives of Indian paintbrush, the fields of daisies are the people who betrayed me. The lupine were self-serving and unkind. 
Orchids are the tongues that lied. Hyacinths are the songs of suicides. The voluminous, voluptuous bougainvillea are flames licking what cannot burn. The big bunch of 1,000 red roses are all the people I made love to. Hit my nose with the stem of a rose. The poppies have pockets packed with narcotic treats. The chrysanthemums are a garland of skulls. I go to death willingly with the same comfort and bliss as when I lay my head on my lover's chest. Welcoming the flowers. The third bouquet is a crown of bluebells, a carillon of foxglove. A sunflower snuggles its head on my lap and gazes up at the sky. May all the tiny black insects crawling on the peony petals be my sons and daughters in future lives. Great balls of light, white, red, blue, concentric dazzle, yellow, green, great exaltation. The world just makes me laugh. May sound and light not rise up and appear as enemies. May I know all sound as my sound. May I know all light as my light. May I spontaneously know all phenomena as myself. May I realize original nature, not fabricated by mind, empty, naked awareness.